we have two category of programming languages compiler based and interpreter based now what is compiler based programming consider a source code which is written on c c language say the name of this source code is a dot c dot c is the extension and when it is compiled a machine code will be generated the machine code will have the same name a and the extension will be dot exe now what is the responsibility of the compiler here job of a compiler is if the source code is given convert it to the machine code when source code file is given it generates a machine code file the important point here is it creates a completely separate file each program will be compiled only once one time translation will be done now to execute a program you should run .exe file not the source code file source code file never be used for execution even if source code is deleted from your machine .exe file can be executed n number of times independent of the compiler therefore we can state that c programming is a compilation based programming language what is interpreted language to understand this consider a particular source file with .js extension .js extension specifies javascript javascript is interpreted language as javascript runs in a browser it runs inside a browser more specifically it cannot run independently browser translates and executes the particular .js file so now what is the responsibility of the browser the browser reads the file line by line line by line it will read as well as it will execute it at that time it means whenever i want to run .js file i need a browser while running browser it will translate and execute the specific source code so try to understand what is the basic difference between compilation and interpretation in compilation a separate machine code will be generated in interpretation no separate machine code will be generated so compiler translate only once and interpreter translates every time whenever you want to execute and remember one thing due to this reason interpretation process is quite slow now the question is java comes under which category either it is a compilation based or interpretation based programming language to understand this start from a source code say this source code is written in java therefore the extension of this source code will be definitely dot java say the name of the file is a and the extension is dot java now whenever this file is written as a source code it is compiled by the compiler and compiler is responsible for generating a byte code and the extension of this byte code is dot class but the name of this file should be same as the source code name therefore it will be a a dot class file so after byte code is generated then java virtual machine is responsible for interpreting this byte code into a machine code now here two question can be asked first what is the responsibility of the compiler here here compiler is giving the byte code not the machine code 
since byte code is given not a machine code the problem here is machine will never understand what is the meaning of the byte code and jvm does what jvm is a person who takes the responsibility of converting this byte code into the machine code so that machine could understand so compiler checks the source code whether there exist any error or not and then if the source code is error free then compiler returns a byte code that does not contain any error therefore byte code is something which is ready for run but it cannot be understood by the machine after completion of this step jvm converts this class file into machine code and executed now the question is who is jvm in one word i can say jvm is a interpreter who interprets dot class file into machine code so when i start started this slide my question was what kind of programming language java is java is a compilation based as well as interpretation based programming language therefore java can be considered as hybrid programming language this is the most important point 